Uh, hi, I am John Ratz, and I am a poet and senior from Creighton Prep. And this poem is uh, called Children of the Corn. I come from a land where the corn grows as thick as the hair in God's unshaven armpits. Please, do not be frightened by the alarming drop in civilization a mere 50 miles from the Missouri. If you give it a chance, it really is a beautiful place, full of untamed prairies and fields that will impart a sense of serenity, wonder, a love for this great land, and a deep certainty that this is exactly what a post-zombie apocalypse world will look like. But Nebraska is so much more than a desolate wasteland. Let me tell you of its beauty. One, it's flat. Flat here, flat there, flat over there, a little bit less flat up there, but don't worry, still pretty flat. And thank goodness for that. I mean, have you seen those freaking mountains? They've got what? picturesque vistas, cleaner air, some majesty, but they're dangerous. I bet you've never heard of someone falling to their death off a prairie, right? <laughs> Two, we are about the furthest you can get from a shoreline. This means I didn't get to grow up with long walks on the beach, afternoons of collecting seashells, or standing and contemplating my insignificance before the furious majesty of the ocean. But I'm not angry? Far from it. How I can be anything but thankful when we haven't had a hurricane, tsunami, or shark attack in a good 60 million years? <laughs> Three, cornfields are all kinds of fun. In summer, when the stalks have grown tall, you can slip between the thick green curtain and get lost for hours, days, weeks, until you are stark, raving mad. This is, in fact, how we keep Nebraska strong. Every adult corn husker is the product of an ancient and violent annual ritual known as the husking, in which a cro new crop of youngsters is sent into the fields until only one emerges covered in the blood of the weak. Go Big Red! Four. The weather can get a bit crazy. One day, it's so frigid, you watch your fingers freeze all the way down to the bones. And the next, the heat intensifies until you can watch your skin melt off. We do our best to grin and bear it through horrific winters and hellish summers. As I like to say, there's no point in complaining about things you can't change, and you can't change the weather unless you offer a human sacrifice to the angry gods that control the sky. Five, Nebraska is the home of the good life where neighbor looks out for neighbor. Our small towns are home to the friendliest folk you're likely to find across this entire nation. In fact, some towns are a little bit too friendly. Some advice to visitors. Should a crowd of locals form around your vehicle and approach with eyes darker than pits while chanting in some language you cannot identify, lock the doors, slam the gas, don't look back, and be sure to visit again soon.